Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you nine easy online work from home jobs for 2018 that you can go and do pretty much year round. Um, these are not like time sensitive jobs, but you can go to these different websites. You can go and do all different types of categories of work and whatever you are good at, whatever you like doing, if you want to do some easy work from home stuff and do it as a side gig or maybe even full time, these are some of the best ways to go without having to stress yourself out or have a lot of experience or a higher education to get these jobs. So the first type of job is like data entry. We're talking things like doing spreadsheets, typing, you know, just basic typing type stuff. Um, you might categorize photos, you might uh, review whether or not ads are relevant on a certain website, just real easy stuff like that. Um, some more things like surveys, um, you know, doing some categorization, like I mentioned, web research, stuff like that. Quick Worker is one of the better places to go. You can go to Quick Worker and then make sure you uh, go up here to the top right corner. And what they do is they pay you as an independent contractor to do data entry type work for them. So once you click on for Quick Worker, click sign up here. Make sure you're on the right country. They have like three countries that they accept, I think. Uh, no, actually they have a lot more, but on the home website it only shows like three. But as far as um, that's probably just for language of the site and like the translation of the site but you have all these different websites so you can do this worldwide and um, do just real easy micro task or otherwise known as data entry type work another one is Amazon Mechanical Turk you can find this at mturk.com this is an Amazon company as you can see and what you do is you do these things called HITs or H-I-T's. Basically, they are um, called human intelligence tasks. So you have things like categorization, you have data cleanup, you have um, research, you have spreadsheets, all this different stuff. So you like you figure out what you're qualified to do. You can uh, get started with Amazon Mechanical Turk right here. Um, you sign in as a worker up here or you can learn more about being a worker by just clicking in the top right corner and then it will tell you more about it and then of course you can get started with Amazon Mechanical Turk but like I said you're doing things like data entry you're doing things like um, just real easy type work it'll qualify you for certain tasks so you're not doing stuff that you know you're not really qualified to do you accept and complete the work you want to do or the work you have time to do shouldn't take very long to do each task and then you get paid um, after the requester approves your work so people post work on here all the time as requesters and then as the quick worker or as the mturk worker you get paid to do it another type of job available that you can do is um, like handy work services um, so you have things like put you know putting in light bulbs or you know uh, moving furniture maybe mowing the lawn maybe hanging up a picture for somebody uh, stuff like that just handyman work or handy woman work if you're good at that stuff um, you know stuff around the house like chores you know errands to run stuff like that so you get the app for your Apple or Android device if you want to see what it looks like you know here it is if you're like looking in the uh, store you can look at the different screenshots here you know you have day labor um, assembly of stuff that maybe somebody ordered pet care organizing things um, lawn care all that type of stuff so you can see kind of what you're getting into in the app store as well as their website before you get started you have people with profiles and you also have your own profile you get going through that you have reviews so you want to do a good job so you get good reviews 
and then you can get more work. So if you're pretty handy at different things, this would be a great type of thing to do. You can view all the categories here, junk removal, handyman assembly, vehicle cleaning, and stuff like that. They have them all over the United States right now from coast to coast and some places that are coming soon. So they're obviously expanding more and more. So you can order stuff or you can provide the you can provide the labor by getting the app signing up and there you go that's pretty much all you got to do log in or sign up click sign up here at tackle and there you go you can sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus account um, another one like this is called task rabbit it's probably a little more popular probably more users so you've probably heard of it and it's the same type thing you do like you know you might put up pictures for people assemble furniture lift heavy stuff for them uh, handyman work you know whatever a lot of people don't know how to do that stuff anymore so if you're good around the house or good at running errands good with pets whatever you might do uh, taskrabbit.com or get the app here's what the app looks like you can see it here very highly rated about four stars out of five you're doing pretty much the same general stuff as tackle you have your profile you have like how much you work per hour you know how much you charge per hour you can kind of message people back and forth with what exactly they want done and there you go task rabbit is a good one to do and they have uh, many locations pretty much a lot of the major cities in the US right now so that's another way to make pretty easy money another thing you can do is freelance work so freelance work can cover a lot of different things but you're basically taking your skills that you learned from school from a job from your natural talents from your hobbies and you're turning them into a online job so Fiverr the great thing about Fiverr is everything is done within the platform and they have all kinds of different people looking for all kinds of different tasks of all kinds of different price points so you have graphics and design you might do logo design you might create business cards you got digital marketing where you might do like SEO or social media writing you might do blog posts for people um, resumes video and animation you got all kinds of stuff for that especially if you're like youtubers and stuff music and audio you can do voiceovers mixing uh, programming and tech, WordPress, chatbots, anything that has to do with code, business, virtual assistant work, business plans, you know, coaching, whatever. So they have all kinds of stuff that you can do. So the thing about this is instead of posting a job as the person looking to hire someone and then having freelancers go to that and then uh, picking the right freelancer and interviewing them and stuff, people, and this is flipped around the other way. So you go to the freelancer based on what they will offer and what they already tell you what they're willing to offer and you have to decide if they're the ones you want to hire based on what their um, gigs are so I'll show you what a gig looks like graphics and design is just going to be a quick example let's say you go to you know illustration maybe so if you were to go to like illustration um, you know they have all kinds of different categories but this is what it looks like so you see the search results these are what uh, people are offering in terms of gigs and you don't have to limit yourself to just offering one type of gig you can't just be a writer only you can do you know voiceovers and writing and business whatever you can do all kinds of gigs so let's say you want to go to this you know, I'll just go to a random one and then you know they'll tell you they'll have like a picture of the person that you're hiring they'll have examples of the work and maybe a, a long description about what they do um, what formats they do it in, how long it takes them, what it costs for them to do it extra fast, which would be like, you know, one day delivery instead of two or something like that. Um, you can read some of the reviews of people they've worked with, their overall review rating, what their main skills are, and what their gigs are. And then it's like, all right, do I want to pay $5 for this? If no, go to somebody else. If yes, click that. And then you can message each other back and forth in the platform and pay 
them within Fiverr and then they get paid via PayPal. So as a freelancer, you can get paid for a lot of different things, pretty much whatever your skills are, you can monetize them in Fiverr. And then as you can see, there's a lot of different uh, scales of how much you can charge. Once you kind of scale up your business, you can become like a Fiverr Pro user. And then you can sell stuff for $300 a pop, $100, $500, and I've seen some for a few thousand dollars as well. So instead of it just being like $5 and $10 stuff like it used to be, you can sell very high-end uh, quality skills here. Another one is Guru.com. Now this is more of a traditional freelance site where you post a job and then you um, have freelancers that kind of go to you and you pick the freelancers. You have different payments that you can do, pay by the task, pay by the milestone. So if you have like checkpoints to getting something done, pay by the hour. There's a lot of different ways to pay. That's a great thing about Guru. They, they help you kind of pay in a lot of different ways and you can find jobs like if you were to pick find a guru you can see the different people for different tasks so that's another way that you can do it you can just uh, become a member of guru and be a guru so you would click join now I want to work is what you would want to do unless you want to just hire people but as if you want to make money you want to click I want to work so another type of job that you can do is writing and so especially guest writing is a good way to go because you have a lot more time freedom so a few places where you can find work as a writer obviously you can go to pretty much any freelance site and offer services as a writer you have writing and translation as one of their main categories here you know you can do all kinds of writing like blog posts legal writing transcription proofreading etc you can do a traditional a uh, you know a uh, freelance site like guru um, or you can go to websites that pay you by the article. So I have a, a blog post here, 15 websites that pay you $200 plus to write a blog post or article. I also have a video if you want to check it out on YouTube. You have Photoshop tutorials, The Travel Writer's Life, Cracked, Treehouse, um, Tuts Plus, Code, Right Naked, International Living, SitePoint, Metro Parent, all these different sites that will pay you over $200 or to or exactly two hundred dollars to write one blog post and get it published for them I also have ones where they'll pay you like a hundred dollars plus or fifty dollars plus depending on what you're willing to do but if you can get fifty dollars plus or more to do one blog post you're doing pretty good so you can check out these websites you can try freelancing obviously you can make your own blog and stuff like that or you can go to look for specific jobs by contract jobs freelance jobs or full-time or part-time jobs on problogger.com slash jobs all you do go to problogger.com go to the job section view jobs and so you can see all the ones available right now and there's always being new one there's always new ones being posted so if you want to write those are great options another thing you can do another kind of category of jobs I want to cover is transcription work so if you want to do like transcription work um, you can do something like rev where you basically get paid to turn audio into text so if you are pretty good at making out accents and stuff like that and you're you have a pretty good word per minute typing speed then you might check out something like Rev, where if you want to sign up as a transcriptionist, you can click Learn More on those, or you can go to the About section, which is where the Freelancers section is. So you go to Freelancers, and then Transcriptionist, or you can do Captioning, Subtitling, Translator. They tell you how much they pay you. Transcription work, $0.40 cents to $0.65 cents per audio minute. You can do the math of how much you get paid by the hour. Pretty good. Probably like $30 an hour or so. Um, so, you know, you make pretty good money. You can work on your own time and do it kind of by the project. So Rev gives you a lot of different ways to do things. And if you're like multilingual, you can also do translation work and stuff as well. So you could create like say transcriptionist. It'll tell you you know um, what top earners make what the average is obviously you know if you work 
you have a pretty good work ethic, you'll make a lot more on the average, but you get paid via PayPal as well, which is really nice. Another thing you can do is test products for people. So basically all you do is you use a physical product, you know, a website or an app, and or maybe some sort of software, and you go to a site like user testing and you get paid just to test those different things. So you can go through and look through the website here, different things that they test, you know, products, design, marketing, whatever. But go to get paid to test up here in the menu and that's how you uh, get paid. That's how you sign up. You just put your email in here, click sign up, make sure you read the terms of use and privacy policy. You get paid $10 per test. Each test takes about 20 minutes so you get paid about $30 per hour via PayPal to do nothing but just review stuff so it's pretty easy work and you get paid pretty well another one that's a co competitor of user testing is user zoom you can go to userzoom.com you would click join our panel at the top right corner and that's how you can sign up to be someone who tests different products you know, websites, prototypes, whatever. So you click join today, that little orange button in the middle, or you can read more about, you know, how old do you have to be? 18 years old, what do I need? You need a computer, basically. Um, you need to download their e-certified testing software, um, stuff like that. How you get paid, you know, how long does it take? 10 to 20 minutes usually. You usually get paid that same month via PayPal. So stuff like that. It's very similar to user testing. Now, if you're more artistic, you can get paid to do all kinds of graphic design. So there's a few places that specialize in this where you can get paid pretty well to work on your own time and work from home, of course. 99designs is one of them. You can uh, find a lot of very uh, wealthy clients that come to 99designs because they're looking for very high quality work. So you can see some you know, examples here. They do labels for products, they do you know, wraps for vehicles, they do um, packaging, they do logos, they do book covers, all kinds of stuff like that. And then um, what you would do is you would, as somebody who wants to get paid, what you would want to do is click become a designer. You can also be an affiliate as well if you can, you know, attract people to um, get design services through 99designs. You can try that program as well. But the main reason I'm on here today in this video is you get paid to become a designer. So you're a good artist and you would get paid as kind of a freelancer, which means you gotta do your own taxes and stuff, but um, you know, you have a per portfolio, you, have, um, you can do like one-on-one -on -one projects, you can compete in the contest for projects where they pick the best design uh, after telling the community what they're looking for. There's different ways to do it and get paid, but that's one of the better places to go for uh, finding clients that are willing to pay a lot of money. Another one is Design Crowd. So if you go to Design Crowd, it's very similar to 99designs. You have basically crowdsourced uh, graphic designers. They have 630,000 plus freelance designers. You can get logos, you can get business cards, web design, flyer, all these different categories. Look at all these different categories. It's ridiculous. They have envelopes, YouTube. Uh, tattoo design, trade show booth design, sticker design, all kinds of stuff. So anything that has to do with graphics you can get done and um, you can get paid pretty well here as well. So you'd get started or you can go and uh, look at the bottom. I think you can sign up down here as well. Uh, graphic designer, web designer, logo designer, that's what you can uh, look at. Just depends on what you're going to do. Um, it's like, are you going to, you know, are you going to focus on a certain type? Are you going to do a little bit of everything? So you can go through and read about the different types of designers that are on here. You can click on how it works. You can click on designers. If you want to look for different designers, you have like your own profile. 
you can pick people based on profiles and you can post your work and your portfolio on here stuff like that so you can click register to get started and you would click I'm a designer all right so that's what you got to do another thing you can do which is kind of something no one really thinks about is you can help um, attorneys and prosecutors with uh, being an online mock juror so you know you have juries that decide the verdict of a case typically that's how a lot of trials go and so they can do a practice trial by having online jurors so you can listen to what's going on and then you know come to a verdict and listen to both sides blah 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 so it helps you know attorneys kind of prepare for the real thing so ejury.com will pay you to be an online juror you can read more about it here you would go under the juror section which is the green section or you can just go right here click sign me up to be an e-juror now you can go over here qualifications 18 years old citizen of the u.s good moral character able to read and write and never been convicted of a felony and not under indictment or other legal ac accusation of misdemeanor theft or felony theft or any felony charge uh, so you can go through there and then click you're ready to sign up and then you can kind of go through that process there they're going to need a little bit of information because this is kind of a very particular type of industry but um, ejury is a good place to go to at ejury.com so there's another thing it'll tell you some more sites on where you can be a mock juror so you have jury talk online verdict resolution research and stuff like that as well if you want to check some more out I'll have a link to this article in the show notes which is real ways to earn money online and you get paid to be a juror next you can get paid to uh, basically be like a social media evaluator or a website or a search engine evaluator which is basically you help search engines and social media platforms make sure that ads are relevant um, so you're you're making sure feeds are relevant ads are relevant so that you like you know if you go on Google or Bing or Facebook or something you're not getting just completely weird ads showing up and stuff like that so you need for leapforceathome.com which is the website you would go to you know what your language is and what uh, country you're in so if I went to United States English language then it'll show you the current opportunities this is something you might need to just check at or check on uh, every once in a while to see what they have they don't always have evaluation jobs but a lot of times they do another one is the smartcrowd.com which is part of Lionbridge they hire workers to also do uh, search engine evaluation type work so you can look for that a lot of times in my latest jobs videos and stuff I'll mention Lionbridge if they're currently hiring for uh, those types of jobs because you know they're very flexible part-time and they pay you for doing real easy work so you might look for those videos as they come out or you might just check out the smartcrowd.com you can also see how it works and all of that um, search engine evaluator type stuff again you can go through here and see more about how that works I'll have a link to this page here it's called how to get paid twelve dollars an hour as a search engine evaluator so I showed you a couple of the companies that do it they have another one called Appin that does it as well but it'll talk you through like a quick um, you know game plan for what to do and what to expect last but not least you can do virtual assistant work which is very easy because basically you just get a specific set of instructions from usually like an entrepreneur or a CEO or somebody who just doesn't have a lot of free time to do certain tasks but they still need the tasks done so they might hire you to um, you know send emails to people to hi to uh, you know do web research to schedule meetings to take phone calls to you know help them with specific types of work whatever so virtualassistance.com is a good place it is an actual jobs board um, 
where you can look at the virtual jobs available. So you can click vir search the virtual jobs, you know, put in the keywords you're looking for, you know, um, categories, computer, technical, customer service. You can go based on what you feel like you're qualified to do, what state you're in, or just comp or just anywhere in the U.S., which would be work from home and what date it was posted and stuff like that. Another place you can go to is Task Bullet. This is another place where you can get virtual assistant work as well, where it's pretty flexible, um, and you can do all kinds of virtual assistant type work. So, as far as that goes, you know, virtual assistant work, you usually get a very specific set of instructions, and then you just you do that until the contract is up, or you know, for from now on, if they want you to just be their personal virtual assistant, whatever. So that's it for this video. If you thought this was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or share something you'd like me to cover in the future. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback. And I will have links to these pages, resources, more information on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll have a link in the video description to that page as well. So other than that, I hope the video was helpful, and I will see you in the next one. video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.